Hello guys, this is your teacher Jose Antonio Lopez and this is the seventh week of our English course and the topic for this uh, week corresponds to nouns, countable and countable and qualifiers, okay? So the first question and the most important one is, do you remember what a noun is? ¿Se acuerdan que es un sustantivo? What's a noun? Okay, if you don't remember, Let's check this. A noun is a word that represents a person, place, thing, or an idea. Um, also, a noun is called a naming word. Nouns are called naming words. Why? Because according to this definition, everything that surrounds us have a name. So those names are nouns. Okay? And for the purposes of this class, we are going to divide the uh, universe of nouns in two big groups, countable and uncountable. As easy as it might seem, uh, it's important for us to identify the characteristics that define these two groups in order for us to distinguish between them. Okay, so let's begin with the first one. Uh, countable nouns. Which are the characteristics of a countable noun? Number one, as I told you before, it might sound silly, but countable noun can be counted. Un sustantivo contable es aquel que puede ser contado. Example, one apple, two cars, 100 yards. One, two, 100. Every time you can count something, that is a countable noun. Number two, they take singular and plural of verbs. That means that we can have singular and plural countable nouns. Example, there is a book, singular, on the table. Those houses, houses, plural, are huge. Number three, they go with a, an, the, and my in the singular form. Example, she bought an umbrella. Ella compró una sombrilla. Singular. And number four, plural. Remember that we said that countable nouns can be uh, used with singular and plural verbs. So plural, and we don't, and when we don't know the exactly amount of the noun, we use some, any, many, or few. Example. I love some carrots, okay? This is for countable. They can be counted. They take singular and plural verbs. They use these articles or possessive for the singular form, and they use this quantifier for the plural, okay? The second, uncountable nouns. What's an uncountable noun? Okay, the first characteristic is an a countable noun is one that cannot be counted. Es incontable porque no puede ser contado. Example, sugar, information, water. We know that these nouns exist, but we don't know the exact amount of them. That's why they are count uncountable. Number two, they always take singular verbs. They don't have plural. Okay, they are only singular. There is some water in the bottle, is the example. Number three, they do not go with a, an, or two. Can you hear music? We don't say, can you hear a music, two musics? No, we don't use this um, determiners. And number four, for uncountable nouns, we use some, any, much, or little, or even use them alone. Example, there is little information about the weather. Okay, these are uncountables. And the last one were countable. There is one exception. We can, uh, when we are talking about uncountable nouns, we can use one, two, a, or an with coffee or tea. When we are talking about a cup, glass, or bottle. Example, can I have two teas, please? 
here we are not talking that we are having different kinds of teas. We are talking about two cups of tea of tea. That's why we use this one, two, A or N. Can I have one coffee? Can you give me my coffee? Okay, this is an example when referring to an uncountable noun. Okay. And let's continue. Let's go with quantifiers. What's a quantifier? Some and any for this lesson are the quantifiers we are going to study. What's a quantifier? A quantifier is a word or a phrase which is used before a noun to indicate the amount or quantity. Some, any, many, a lot of, and a few are examples of quantifier. For this class, we are only going to analyze some or any. So, when will I use any as a quantifier? Number one, for negative sentences. Example, we don't have any milk. No tenemos nada de leche. There isn't any bread. No hay nada de pan. Para oraciones negativas, vamos a utilizar este quantifier cuando estemos haciendo oraciones negativas. Número dos, cuando hagamos preguntas, questions. Do we have any milk? Is there any bread? ¿Tenemos algo de leche? ¿Hay algo de pan? Tiene mucho sentido también en español. And number three, with if statements. Whenever a statement or a sentence starts with if, we need to use any. Example, if you have any question, you're just ask. Si tienes alguna pregunta o algunas preguntas, pues pregunta. Si tienes algunas dudas, pregunta. Okay? Any. Negative sentences, questions, and if statements. Some. Some we are going to use it for affirmative sentences. Example, I bought some bread. There is some milk in the fridge. Number two, offers and request. Would you like some coffee? This is an offer. You're offering coffee to someone. Can I have some water? This is a request. We're asking for water. En este caso, la primera es, una, es un ofrecimiento. ¿Te gustaría algo de café? ¿Quieres un café? O, y en la segunda es, una, es un requerimiento, es algo que, tú, que uno está pidiendo. ¿Me puedes dar algo de agua? Okay. Number three, questions when we think that the answer is yes. This is, can be sort of a, an obvious question. When we make a question, but we already know that the answer for that question is going to be yes. Example, do we still have some milk in the fridge? I don't know exactly, but I have in mind that yes, we have milk in the fridge. Okay. So, this is the topic. As you can see, it's a very easy topic. In the notes that you already have in your uh, virtual class at Google Classroom, you can find this explanation and some more examples, and you can even find some links which you can check if you have some, if you're looking for some information or if you want to reassure the topic that we've checked in this video. Okay? So, guys, this is the end. Now, in the second video, we are going to work with the practices, okay? Remember, countable can be counted. Contables pueden ser contados. Uncountable cannot be counted. No pueden ser contados. Any, we are going to use it for questions, negative statements, and with the, when the statement begins with the word if. And some, we are going to use it for affirmative uh, sentences, we are going to use it when we already know that the question that we are uh, making has to be yes or need 
necessarily have a yes as an answer and we need to identify the differences between these two groups countable and uncountable okay so thank you very much and let's do some practice